tonight's Common Council meeting. Before we start the meeting, I'd ask our city clerk to read the quote for the week. Thank you, Mayor. It is time for us to stand and cheer for the doers, the achievers, the ones who have recognized the challenges and did something about them. Thank you, Sue. Call the 26 and final Common Council meeting to order. Please call the roll. Boren. Here. Berg. Here. Serta. Excuse. Davis. Here. Groff. Here. Hannah. Here. Kittleson. Here. Clayunis. Here. Manny. Here. Meyer, Here. Montemayor, Here. Radke, Here. Ryan, Here. Susha, Here. Vanderweel, Here. and Verhasselt. Here. 15 present. Quorum is present. Alderman Maddie, would you please lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Alderman Manny. Approval of the minutes. President Berg. Uh, yes, thank you, Your Honor. I feel like Artie Johnson on Laugh-In, if you remember, was very interesting. He was always <laughs> behind this uh, Behind that garden you got. Okay. And laugh in may be appropriate at some times in terms of this deliberative body. I would move that uh, we approve the minutes as entered on the record. Second. Motion and second to approve the minutes. Is there any discussion? There is none. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Minutes to approve. Resignations. Attorney McLean. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. A letter from uh, <clears throat> Lee Montemayor, Jr., advising that the submitting its resignation from the Civil Service Commission effective April 13, 2007. I'd ask for a motion to confirm. Move to confirm. Or accept and file my, my excuse. I mean my, <laughs> excuse me. It should have been a motion to accept and file. So you've got that. Thank you very much. And there was a second. Any discussion on that? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Resignation is accepted. And an email from Dustin Havens <coughs> advising that uh, he's resigning from the Commission on Aging. And another motion to accept and file. Move to accept and file. Motion and second. Un under discussion. There is none. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Mayor's and, appointments? Or uh, one still, more resignation. One more? A letter from uh, David Cookook advising uh, that effective June 1, 2007. He's resigning his position as Environmental Park Director for Maywood. And I'd ask for motion to accept and file. Move to accept and file. Motion and second. Any discussion? There is none. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Resignation is accepted. Confirmations? Mayor's appointments, I mean. Uh, the hereby submit the following appointments for your consideration. The Special Table of Organization Review Committee. Uh, Alderman Mark Hanna, Marilyn Montemayor, James Boren, uh, Sean Rice, John Signer, and Derek Rupp, all appointed uh, effective today, signed by the mayor. That lies over. And that's it. Is that it? Okay. Thank you very much, Attorney McLean. Next item on the agenda is proclamation for the staff of TV8. I would ask the staff to please come forward. We have Scott and Carrie here. And this is a proclamation that, quite frankly, I'm very honored to, to present to these two gentlemen and the one that's taking care of our cameras. A lot of times we don't see these guys because they're in the back or working very hard at doing something else at the studio. But this is an award that reflects some of their accomplishments that's given to them because of their, their accomplishments. Whereas TV8 provides public access television to the city of Sheboygan, and whereas TV8 is a department of the city of Sheboygan, represents the city to its viewers, and whereas TV8 is part of the WAPC, the Wisconsin Education Association of Peg Exit Channels, and whereas WAPC hosts an annual spring conference and presents awards to Peg Channels for exceptional work, and whereas at the spring 2007 conference, TV8 will receive statewide recognition for several programs. And please note these. The Award of Merit for the World Broad Eating Championship 
the award of merit for TV8 Sports North and South Basketball Sheboygan Armory Final Game. Three, the award of, for significant community programming award for Sports Talk. And four, the award of achievement for TV8 Bulletin Board. And five, the, the award of achievement for Walls of Remembrance. And then the final one, the award of excellence for music and motion with Judy Stock. Folks, these are a lot of awards, and they have done a, a remarkable job. And I thank you for that, and I recognize you and congratulate you. Thank you. Uh, well, Mayor, I'd like to thank you for the proclamation, and I'd like to uh, thank our TV8 staff, uh, Scott Maloff here in particular, and Steve Reiner back in the uh, booth behind the wall. Um, also, TV8's been... Uh, in existence since 1982. So we've been around for quite a while and uh, there was a time when we uh, had to bring up our camera cables with camera mounts in the back and over here by Steve McLean where we had camera operators. Uh, the TV Ed truck was parked down in the street and uh, it was quite operation at that time. Uh, in 97 we installed these uh, camera wall mount cameras, and uh, things are working out fairly well, but we need to keep up with technology. Uh, so we are uh, hopefully going to continue doing that and into the future. If you want to say anything. <laughs> Thank you, Kerry. Next item is public forum. Um, no one. There's no one for public forum. Before we go to the, the hearing, I'd just like to make a, a few comments. We have uh, Alderman Davis, Alderman Ratke, Alderman Susha, Alderman Groff, and Alderman Berg, our president of the council, that will not be with us uh, anymore, at least for this coming year. Uh, some of them decided not to run for election, and some of them did not win the election. But I wanted to thank each one of you for the great job and the great work that you've done. You have made a difference in our city. You have made a difference to the people of Sheboygan who look to us for leadership and sound decision making. So thank you for the hard work that you've done. I wish you the best of success in your future endeavors. And by all means, if you're around, stop by, say hi, or join us in the gallery. Thank you very much. Thank you. That uh, the hearing, we just got one hearing. Okay. To, to change the text of the city's zoning ordinance to change on section on the use of required off street parking areas. Is there anyone that would like to address the council on that hearing? Is there anyone that would like to address the council? Is there anyone? There being none, President Berg? Yes, I move that the hearings be closed. Motion second, close hearing. <coughs> Any discussion? There is none. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Hearing is closed. President Burke, consent agenda. Yes, uh, thank you, Your Honor. I move to accept and file the ROs, accept and adopt the RCs, and place all the general ordinance upon their passage. And this is 26-1 through 26-31. And there's a second. Under discussion. There being none, please call the roll. Burke? Aye. <clears throat> Davis? Aye. Graf? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Fayunas, Manny, Aye. Meyer, Aye. Montemayor, Aye. Radke, Aye. Ryan, Aye. Susha, Aye. Vanderweel, Aye. Verhasselt, Aye. and Boren. Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. Report of Officer 2, 2632, 2633 lies over. 2634 to 2649 to be referred. Alderman Montemayor. Thank you, Your Honor. I'm referring to agenda items number 2642, 2643, and 2644. Three documents asked to be referred to Committee of the Whole, and I move to file. Motion and second to file 2642, 3, and 4. 
under discussion. Um, we've received and read these communications. We, we know how they feel. I don't think we do need any further discussion. And we thank the writers for their concern. We have the information we need. We can refer to these if we ever need them in, a few, in the future. And we appreciate the opinions from the citizens of Sheboygan. On 2644, I'm asking to have it filed from Committee of the Whole. Thank you. I'm sorry. You're asking oh, from Committee of the Whole. All three Committee of the Whole, yes. OK. So I'm that. Sorry, could you explain that, that you want them all filed instead of referred to Committee of the Whole? Correct. OK. Um, Alderman Boren, under discussion. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, on 2644, uh, that will no longer be going to uh, the uh, uh, Committee of the Whole, but it'll still be going to Public Protection and Safety. And in addition, I would like that referred to uh, salary and grievances and finance. Okay. If I could make a motion to that effect. What? Mayor, there's nothing. Yeah. It isn't referred to public protection and safety. It's referred to community as a whole. No, it says public. It protection says public and protection and safety also. Yeah. It says on that. the uh, on the uh, agenda. Could we? This will make it. This will make it a little cleaner. If if. Uh, if Alderman Montemayor would withdraw her motion on 2644 and just 4243 to be filed and the second withdrawn, then we'll just refer 2644 to salary and grievance and you said which else? Finance. Finance. And it was also on there to go to public protection and safety. Do you still want it to go to sure. public protection yes. and safety? Okay, Alderman Montemayor, are you in agreement with that motion? Yes, I'm, I'm I am. Change it. Who's second? second? Are you okay with that? Okay, so here's a motion, folks. 2444 will stay as is, but will be referred to public protection and safety, salary and grievances, salary and grievance, and finance. And 2442, 43 to be filed. Any more discussion? Alderman Hanna. Uh, could I also ask that 2644 also get referred to the new committee that I'll be on, the uh, that short-term committee? It's a document that I think we should. Oh, you're talking about special committee? Yes. Okay. Can we and. Have that? Thank Fourth uh, referral special committee on the table of organization. Thank you. Any more discussion? That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Hanna. There being none. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you very much. Resolutions introduced three. 2650 by Alderman Graf, authorizing the purchase an agent to enter into a contract for local telephone service. Alderman Graf. Thank you, Your Honor. I would ask for suspension. Is there any objection to, sus for s to suspend? There being none, please proceed. And Your Honor, I would move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Okay. Motion to second to put 2650 under, upon its passage under discussion. There being none, please call the roll. Davis? Aye. Graf? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Kittleson? Clayunis? Aye. Manny? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Radke? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Susha? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Warren and Berg. Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 2651 by Alderman Hanna, establishing a special table of organization review committee for the city of Sheboygan. Alderman Hanna. Thank you, Mayor. Um, may I also ask for suspension of the rules? Or, or are we, do we have enough time to let this go through the regular process? Uh, we don't need, no, we don't need suspension. Okay. Just uh, put the resolution. I'd like put the resolution upon its passage. Motion and second to put 2651 upon its passage. Any discussion? There is none. Please call the roll. Graf? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Kittleson? Clayunis? Manny? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Radke? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Susha? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Boren? Aye. Berg? Aye. And Davis? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 2652 by Alderman Ryan, approving the terms and conditions of the contract for lease of land and accompanying ground lease between the Redevelopment Authority and Sparrows Point, LLC. Alderman Ryan. Thank you, Your Honor. I move for suspension of the rules. There is a motion to second. Is there any objection? There is none. Please proceed. Thank you, sir. I, I move that the uh, resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and second to put 2652 upon its passage under discussion. 
Uh, Your Honor, this is a basic ground lease, the same ground lease we've used for the entire uh, South Pier District, 85-year ground lease. Uh, nothing uh, new here for the council. Thank you, Alderman Ryan. There no more, no more discussion. Please call the roll. Hannah. Aye. Kittleson. Cleonis. Manny. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Montemayor. Aye. Radke. Aye. Ryan. Aye. Susha. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. Verhasselt. Aye. Boren. Aye. Berg. Aye. Davis. Aye. And Graf. Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 2653 by Alderman Manny and Verhasselt adding the mayoral administrative officer to the group health insurance committee. Alderman Manny. Thank you, Honor. I move to put the resolution upon its passage. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion. There being none, please call the roll. Kittleson. Aye. Clayunis. Aye. Manny. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Montemayor. Aye. Radke. Aye. Ryan. Aye. Susha. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. Verhasselt. Aye. Boren. Aye. Burr. Aye. Davis. Aye. Graf. Aye. And Hannah. 15 ayes. Motion carries. Just wait a couple of seconds. Are you okay? Gotcha. You, you, yeah. you cut okay. up? All right. Good. 2654 by Alderman Manny and Rehasselt dissol dissolving the current Community Health Insurance Advisory Task Force. Alderman Manny. Thank you, Your Honor. I move to put the resolution, resolution upon its passage. <laughs> Motion and second. <clears throat> Must be the water we drank today because mm. any discussion? There being none, please call the roll. Clayunas. Aye. Manny. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Montemayor. Aye. Radke. Aye. Ryan. Aye. Susha. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. Verhasselt. Aye. Boren. Aye. Burr. Aye. Davis. Aye. Graf. Aye. Hannah. Aye. And Kittleson. Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 2655 was a resolution to change the three business persons added to the City County Shared Service Committee from non-voting to voting members. As you'll recall, this council passed a resolution making them uh, non-voting members. And at the meetings, they have been voting. But the reason they have been voting is because the committee itself granted them that authority to vote. So this resolution is not necessary. If they're going to continue that, I would ask that that committee handle it the way it did the last time. So I would ask for a motion to file. Second. Motion and second to file. Any more discussion? There being none, all those in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. 2656 through 2661 to be referred. Report of Committee 5, 2662 to be referred. Report of Committee 6, 2663 through 2668 to be referred. Uh, 26, I'm sorry, 2668, please make a notation. We, we don't normally refer them. When they ask for uh, some of the days, we just refer them to finance. Is there any reason why anybody wanted to send to Blue Harbor? Somebody asked, but I don't know who. Generally, oh, Alderman Graff, you want to say something? Yeah, yes, Your Honor. Um, one of the reasons it's, it's um, going to the Blue, the Blue Harbor Committee, excuse me, <laughs> um, is because finance... Um, directed the Blue Harbor Committee to um, to review the policy and procedures that connect that's connected with the number of days available and okay. so forth and we asked them to look at it and come back with a policy very good okay thank you for that explanation it will stay as it is we refer to both committees report of committee 7 2669 by the short-term committee on employee remuneration submitting their report summarizing the total cost of labor to the city with the cost of labor in private sector. Alderman Manning. Thank you, Your Honor. I move to refer this report to the Committee of the Whole of the New Common Council. Second. Motion and second to refer it to the new committee of the new Committee of the Whole of the New Common Council. Any discussion? Alderman Cleunas. Thank you, Your Honor. I want to thank the committee for the work they did. It's uh, very interesting work, and I think it'll be very helpful in the new budget and uh, in terms of the table of organization, as Alderman Hanna asked for. So I thank you for the timely report. Good job. Thank you very much, Alderman Cleonis and Alderman Manny. I echo those words. You've done a great job. Thank you. <coughs> we will uh, take a vote on referring it to the Committee of the Whole of the New Council. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. 2670 to be referred. 
Report of Committees 8, 2671 by Finance, recommend and authorizing a transfer of appropriations in the, in the 207 budget. Alderman Graff. Thank you, Your Honor. I would move that the RC be accepted and, and filed and that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion. There is none. Please call the roll. Manny? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Radke? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Susha? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Boren? Aye. Berg? Aye. Davis? Aye. Graf? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. And Clionis? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 2672 by finance. Recommend an approval for the a fiscal year 2007 one-year action plan for the CDBG program submissions and passing the attached substitute resolution. Alderman Graff. Thank you, Your Honor. Again, I would move that the RC be accepted and adopted and the substitute of the resolution be put upon its passage. Motion and second. Under discussion. Alderman Hanna. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I think we need to, if I'm correct, I think we need to move um, all the person claims his name off that resolution. It needs to be struck. Okay. Oh, it uh, it can stay on there, but she did abstain. Okay. Right. So it doesn't have. Well, he to was. She off. was. Uh, I'm sorry. She was not even in attendance. We're taking her off. Okay. okay. Thank you. She wasn't in attendance. Okay. Thank you, Alderman Manny. I'm uh, Hannah. Any more discussion? There being none, please call the roll. Meyer. Aye. Montemayor. Aye. Radke. Aye. Ryan. Aye. Susha? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Boren? Aye. Berg? Aye. Davis? Aye. Graf? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Kittleson? Clionis? And Manny? Aye. 14 ayes, 1 abstention. Motion carries. Ordinances introduced 10, 2673 by Alderman Susha, Clionis, Kittleson, Manny, and Montemayor amending the municipal code so as to add the position of part-time coordinator of volunteers to the mayor's office senior center table of organization. Alderman Susha. Thank you, Your Honor. I move to suspend the rules. Motion second to suspend. Is there any objection? There is none. Please proceed. I move that the ordinance be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and second under discussion. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to point out that um, this new position that's being added, uh, part-time position, uh, coordinator of volunteers at the Senior Center, is going to be paid for by the Friends of the Senior Center. So it's not going to cost the taxpayers any money to add this needed service. Good point. Thank you. Any more discussion? There being none, please call the roll. <clears throat> Excuse me. Montemayor? Aye. Radke? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Susha? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Boren, Aye. Berg, Aye. Davis, Aye. Graf, Aye. Hannah, Aye. Kittleson, Clionis, Manny, Aye. and Meyer. Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 2674 <laughs> through 2680 to be referred. Matters laid over 11, 2527, an RO, RO number 57906 <clears throat> by the City Plan Commission recommending amending the text of the zoning ordinance so as to modify the section on the use of required off-street parking areas. Alderman Montemayor. Thank you, Your Honor. I move to accept and adopt the RO and the uh, ordinance be put upon its passage. Motion and second. Under discussion. There is none. Please call the roll. Radke. Aye. Ryan. Aye. Susha. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. Verhasselt. Aye. Boren. Aye. Berg. Aye. Davis. Aye. Graf. Aye. Hannah, Aye. Kittleson, Clionis, Manny, Aye. Meyer, Aye. and Montemayor. Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 2590 and RO, RO number 580-0607 by the city attorney submitted as a matter of record the decision of the, by the Wisconsin Supreme Court in Poole versus City of Sheboygan. President Berg, would you like to move to file? Uh, yes, Your Honor. I would, um, uh, let's see, got to find it first. Uh, move to... Um, uh, accept and file the report of officer. Thank you. There's a motion and second. Thank you. Any discussion? There is none. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? <coughs> motion carries. 2646, resolution number 2910607 by Alderman Graf, Hannah, Susha, Clayunas, and Boren, authorizing the transfer of appropriations in the 2007 budget. Alderman Graf. 
Thank you, Your Honor. That resolution along with the next one, 2547, which is 292607, I would move that both resolutions be put upon their passage. Motion and second. Under discussion. There is none. Please call the roll. Ryan? Aye. Susha? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Boren? Aye. Berg? Aye. Davis? Aye. Groff? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Kittleson? Clayunas? Manny? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. And Radke? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 2591, resolution number 2930607 by Alderman Meyer, authorizing entering into a contract for professional services of the, for the monitoring and reporting of the sanitary flows within the city, within the city of Sheboygan Sanitary Interceptor Sewer System. <clears throat> Alderman Meyer. Thank you, Your Honor. I would like to make a motion to put the resolution upon its passage. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion. Under discussion, I would also like to make a motion to amend the resolution to change the fee from $50,000 to $67,000 and to change the account number to 601-304-110-520124-0. And I would also like would to ask... you repeat ask, that? <laughs> <laughs> I would also like to ask Mr. Beeble Excuse to come me. up and okay, explain Okay, hold on. This. We need a second to that motion to amend. There's a motion and a second to amend. Uh, Mr. Beeble, would you please come up, sir? <laughs> Mike is on. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, real quickly, basically, what, what's before you, the amendment, uh, the original resolution that we, we uh, had before you, we had put that in before we actually received the quotes from the, our, our engineering consultants. What the $17,000 extra provides us is the contract is, is for to do monitoring of our sanitary sewer system during the wet weather season, and that's what we're approaching here in, in April. What it does is we, the, the initial proposal was for a four-week period. What we did is we, to cover ourselves and provide some insurance that we do get wet, uh, wet weather events for this monitoring to occur, we asked the proposal to extend it another four weeks for a total of eight. So that's what that $17,000 covers. Now, provided if we get wet weather events and we get our monitor, monitoring results within the four weeks, the 17000 does not have to be spent. Um, so um, that's what that 17000 is for. The, the account number was uh, different um, when we had initially put it in. It was under a capital improvements, but actually this will be coming out of our sanitary sewer maintenance account, and the money is within the budget. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Beeble? Any further discussion? There is none. We're going to take a vote on the amendment as explained. Please call the roll. Susha? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Boren? Aye. Berg? Aye. Davis? Aye. Graf? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Kittleson? Clyunas? Aye. Aye. Manny? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Radke? Aye. And Ryan? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. Alderman Meyer, I need a motion to. Uh, Put the resolution upon its passage as amended. Thank you, Your Honor. So moved. Motion and second. Any discussion? There being none, please call the roll. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Boren? Aye. Berg? Aye. Davis? Aye. Graf? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clyunas? Aye. Manny? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Radke? Aye. Ryan? Aye. And Susha? 15 eyes. Motion carries. 2573, General Ordinance Number 101-0607 by Alderman Burke, Manny, Susha, Verhassel, Kittleson, Boren, Clayunas, Serta, Ratke, Meyer, Hannah, Montemayor, and Vanderwill. Maybe I should have said who wasn't in there instead of who was. <laughs> Relating to the one-way streets and alleys so as to delete North 7th Street from Pennsylvania Avenue to Erie Avenue and North 9th Street from Pennsylvania Avenue to Erie Avenue. President Burke. Second, Your Honor, I move to put the general ordinance upon its passage. Motion and second. Under discussion. There is none. Please call the roll. Verhasselt? Aye. Boren? Aye. Berg? Aye. Davis? Aye. Graf? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clyunas? Aye. Manny? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Radke? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Susha? Aye. And Vanderweel? Aye. Fifteen ayes. Motion carries. 2578. General Ordinance Number 102-0607 by Alderman Susha, Clayunas, Montemayor, Kittleson, and Manny, 
amending the municipal code so as to create the job description and job code for the MSB secretary and eliminate the MSB timekeeper and clerk typist in the Department of Public Works Table of Organization. Alderman Susha. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that the ordinance be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion. There is none. Please call a roll. Boren. Aye. Berg. Aye. Davis. Aye. Graf. Aye. Hannah. Aye. Kittleson. Clayunas. Manny. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Montemayor. Aye. Radke. Aye. Ryan. Aye. Susha. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. And Verhasselt. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 2580, General Ordinance Number 103-0607 by Alderman Vanderweel, Serra, Meyer, Montemayor, and Berg relating to time zones and to add a one-hour time zone Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. except holidays located along the south side of Union Avenue, 85 feet west of the west curb line of South 14th Street. Alderman Vanderweel. Thank you, Your Honor. I'd also like to take 2581, 2582, 2583 and 2584. Please do. And make a motion to put those general ordinances upon their passage. Second. Motion and second to put 2580, 2581, 82, 83, and 84 upon their passage. Under discussion. There being none, please call the roll. Berg? Aye. Davis? Aye. Graf? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clionis? Aye. Manny? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Radke? Ryan, Aye. Susha, Aye. Vanderweel, Aye. Verhasselt, Aye. and Boren. 15 ayes. Motion carries. Other matters authorized by law 2681 will be referred to the Finance Committee of the New Common Council. 2682, an RC by Public Works recommending filing documents submitting a communication from the Great Lakes Fishing Company, Incorporated, requesting that when the city is replanking the boardwalk, that the concrete surface in front of their business be extended an additional 50 feet and approve the request. Alderman Meyer. Thank you, Your Honor. I'd like to make a motion to accept and adopt the report of committee. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion. There will be a non. Please call the roll. Davis. Aye. Graf. Aye. Hannah. Aye. Kittleson. Aye. Clionis. Aye. Manny. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Montemayor. Aye. Radke. Aye. Ryan. Aye. Susha. Vanderweel, Aye. Verhasselt, Aye. Boren, Aye. and Berg. Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 2683, an RC by Public Works recommending filing documents submitting a communication from the president of the, boy, I can't pronounce that word. Who can help? <laughs> okay, there you go. Concordia requested that they be able Okay? <laughs> that they be able to use Fountain Park for their picnic on August 10th and be able to use the name German Knights in the park sponsored by Concordia and approving the request. Okay. Alderman Meyer. Thank you, Your Honor. I'd also like to make a motion to accept and adopt this report of committee. Okay. Motion and second. Under discussion. There being none. We just we don't need to call a roll. Mm -mm. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. 2684, a resolution by Alderman Montemayor and Verhassel proposing certain changes to the De Department of City Development and Department of Public Works Table of Organization so as to transfer the City Engineering Department to the Department of City Development. Alderman Montemayor. Thank you, Your Honor. I ask for suspension. Uh, is there any objection? Suspend the rules. There is none. Please proceed. I move the resolution be put upon its passage. Motion and second. Under discussion. Alderman Clayton. Thank you, Your Honor. Wouldn't this be material for the special committee, the table organization as well? Uh, you don't think so? It, uh, it, it was an issue that was discussed by salary and grievance, but uh, we're, uh, th there's no transfer of money or anything like that. All it is is okay. supervision. Okay. This is why, and uh, we're asking that it be approved. Okay. Alderman Montemayor, you Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, you answered it. Thank you. Alderman Hanna. I would, I would also thank you, Mayor. I would also think that you know, the, the new committee is going to be able to comment on that sort of thing, so I don't think that's off the table for us to at least comment. Okay. Thank you. Any other? We'll talk, call the vote. Oh, please call the roll. Graf. Aye. Hanna. 
Kittleson? No. Clionis? No. Manny? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Radke? Aye. Ryan? No. Susha? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Boren? Aye. Berg? No. Davis? Aye. 11 ayes, 4 noes. Motion carries. 2685, an ordinance by Alderman Montemayor and Verhassel amending the municipal code so as to delete the position of Deputy Director of Planning and Development and to create the position and job description for Economic Development Manager. Alderman Montemayor. I ask for suspension, please. Any objection? There is none. Please proceed. I make a motion the ordinance be put upon its passage. Motion and second. Under discussion. I, I, I can explain if you'd like. Yes, please. This is, this is one of the positions that uh, Paulette Andrews, Director of City Development, has been asking to, to move a little faster, but because there's been delays in the table of organization, has been put back, I believe, since mid-December or something like that. It's been a while that she's been waiting to, to proceed with. This is a position that uh, Pete Fullerton had, and it's been changed, actually saving the, the city money, and she needs to, be, to get moving on that. Alderman Ryan. You answered my question, Your Honor. Thank you, Alderman Ryan. Any more discussion? There being on, please call the roll. Hannah? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clionis? Aye. Manny? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Radke? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Susha? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Boren? Aye. Berg? Aye. Davis? Aye. And Graf? Aye. Fifteen ayes. Motion carries. Uh, the next item is notice of intent to discharge the salaries and grievances committee regarding the following documents. Alderman Susha. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, I would like to take documents 2473, 7475, 2479, 2436, 2353, and 2476 altogether, if that's all right with you. Please do. All right. My motion would be that all the RCs be accepted and adopted, the ROs accepted and placed on file, and the GOs put upon their passage. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion. Um, thank you, Your Honor. Um, I just wanted to thank the Salary and Grievance Committee, which consisted of Alderperson Montemayor Manny, Alderperson Kittleson, and Alderperson Clyunas, uh, for meeting with Salary and Grievance throughout the year. Uh, most standing committees meet less than 25 times in a year. And salary and grievance uh, was approaching 45 meetings in the past year. So I didn't feel that we needed to meet just to uh, go through routine procedure of making a motion to file all these in committee. So that's why it was sent uh, to the Common Council. I didn't feel I needed to pull them in for a special meeting. Um, but I, I would like to just comment, the majority of these documents uh, pertain to the reorganization project. And the majority of them are feedback from the other standing committees. And I do appreciate uh, everybody participating in that process. Um, I did receive a few phone calls uh, after the last meeting in regards to what the reorganization project was all about. And I would just like to take a minute just to highlight a few key points. I know that the Special Table of Organization Review Committee um, is going to be looking at a lot of these issues, and I, I wish Alderman Hanna lots of luck. Um, this, this entire project was made up of concessions. It started out with some suggestions from employees. It involved discussions with employees, department heads, uh, the mayor, the salary and grievance committee. Uh, there was a lot of feedback that was obtained uh, over a 10-month period of time. And um, some of it was just main t routine maintenance, housekeeping to the table of organization. There were 15 positions that were unfilled, unfunded, and needed to be adjusted to reflect reality. So the reorganization project uh, was going to clean that portion up and remove those 15 positions because they haven't had people in them in some cases for many years. Um, the, the reorganization project also was going to change uh, the current classifications of 20 titles on the table of organization and reclassify them into about 13 other uh, positions. And then there were just um, a couple of areas where there were needs identified. Uh, for example, uh, in exchange for uh, eliminating the two community service officers, we would have been able to add two patrolmen, people who were actually sworn officers. Uh, when you looked at the job description for the community service officers, you found that a lot of their time was spent um, with hanging bicycles, picking up abandoned bicycles. They spent a very small portion of their time actually writing tickets for expired parking meters. It was only approximately two hours a day. 
And I guess my philosophy is, is that why should we increase property taxes? If somebody's breaking the law and not plugging the meter, I'd rather have them pay the fine rather than increase everybody's uh, property taxes. So um, this would have been a good move. We were able to um, look at uh, adding the parking meter monitors over to the parking and transit division of the city uh, since it is their obligation to take care of parking issues. Um, that was something that uh, the, the Parking and Transit Committee agreed to take over and look at uh, contracting an outside firm where we wouldn't have to pay city benefits. So that was going to save the taxpayers a lot of money. Um, there were also a lot of compromises made by other uh, city department heads, and I do want to thank the department heads that were able to combine some positions. I think this is the wave of the future. We need to continue to move in that direction. And um, also just a couple comments in regards to um, some changes in, in the DPW. We were suggesting that you add five seasonal uh, park workers. And this was really the compromise of what I really wanted to accomplish. When I started looking at this cost uh, saving initiative, uh, the total cost savings to the taxpayers was over a million dollars. And uh, due to compromises, it's down to uh, 320,000. And I challenge Alderman Hannah to come in with more savings for the taxpayers rather than less. Um, but one of the, the key components that I think the city needs to continue to look at is how to provide the same or better level of service to the citizens for less money. And the suggestion that I came up with was as people retire, um, if you were to hire seasonal workers in the public works department, one full-time person is equivalent to hiring seven seasonal workers. And if you were to change the entire face of DPW <coughs> over a period of time, what you could do is take all of the full-time current employees and promote them into positions of leadmen and also um, supervisors. So in the long run, they would benefit because they would have higher pay. So when they retire, they would have more of a pension. But what you would have to do is go from 141 full-time people over a period of time down to, let's say, 70 full-time permanent people. And then in the meantime, um, even if you went with a ratio of five seasonal employees for every one person that retires, um, you wind up with so many more hours available to work. Um, like I said, this would save the city so much money. Um, I don't want to get real complicated. It's easier to look at in a spreadsheet. But the bottom line is, is if you went from 141 full-time people over a period of years down to 70 part-time people, and if you hired five part-timers for each one that retires, you would have a workforce, a part-time workforce of 350 people that could work up to 600 hours a year. The benefit of that is that when you work under 600 hours a year, you don't have to pay, the city doesn't have to pay into the Wisconsin Retirement Fund. You know, these are the things that I think need to be looked at. Um, also, if you had 350 seasonal people, if you looked at the total number of hours worked and equate that into numbers of full-time people, doing a, a change like this over time, you'd actually be adding work equivalent to adding 35 full-time people to the Department of Public Works, and this would save money. So I think things like this need to be examined over time. I think that this entire project, the Efficiency and Cost Saving Initiative, is only step one. It's only phase one in uh, the reorganization project. Reorganization and changing the table of organization is always an ongoing process. Um, one other big area that needs to be uh, seriously looked at is uh, changes in our IT department. Um, there are so many things. The city is really literally decades behind technology. And I think that if we invest more into the technology end, we will find that our need for the actual human resources actually paying the wages and benefits will start to decrease. And um, that's going to also be a savings to the taxpayers. So um, I just want to uh, wish this uh, new committee that's being formed uh, lots of luck, and especially Alderman Hanna, and I hope you're able to bring in uh, more cost savings. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Susha. Any further discussion? There being none, please call the roll. Kittleson? Aye. Clayunis? Aye. Manny? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Radke? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Susha? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Warren? Aye. Berg? Aye. Davis? Aye. Groff? Aye. And Hannah? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. Uh, other matters? Before we go into other matters, Alderman Manny passed out an amendment here. Make sure that you bring that with you to the committee of the whole discussion. Is that correct, Alderman Manny? Thank you. Attorney McLean, other matters? <clears throat> Thank you, Your Honor. 2686 is an RO by the city clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 20, uh, 2007 and June 30, 2008. That will be referred to law and licensing. 
2687 is an RO by the city clerk submitting a summons and complaint in the matter of Ronald E. Yost, Jr. versus the city of Sheboygan. That will be referred to risk management of the new council. 2688 is a communication from Dolores Olson, executive director of Sheboygan County Chamber of Commerce, stating that the chamber has offered leadership training uh, and one of the parts of their programs, the shadow community lead for part of a day and request that the council defeat the resolution being brought in regarding eliminating the ride-alongs with the police department. That will be referred to risk management of the new council. 2689 is communication from Patty Glazer Martin, Director of Marketing Public Relations of St. Nicholas Hospital, requesting permission to hold the annual St. Nicholas Hospital Freedom Run on July 4, 2007. That will be referred to Public Protection and Safety Committee of the new council. 2690 is a resolution granting St. Nicholas Hospital permission to hold a freedom run and walk on the streets and sidewalks of the city of Sheboygan. That will be referred to Public Protection of the new council. Second. Second. Motion and second under discussion. Alderman Susha. Um, thank you, Your Honor. I would just like to take this opportunity to thank Alderman Radke for all of the hard work that he's done on the committee. Uh, we came in together at the, at the same time through the same election, and I appreciated his help and his friendship. Um, I appreciate the fact that he stuck to his goals of being fiscally responsible. Uh, he helped with the elimination of the stormwater fee, and um, I'm most proud of him for the effort he made with the marina. He's the one that brought in the 10-point plan to try to turn the marina around, and I really think he needs to be applauded for that because um, the citizens aren't happy with the way things are going with the marina, and I think Alderman Radke did the right thing by, by trying to do this. So again, I just wanted to uh, thank him for uh, his service to the city. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Susha. All those in favor of adjourning, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Stand adjourned.